Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a full mini series since this series only had two parts, and this was when I still did like four or five minute episodes, so I had to even like make this one. So, longer. yeah, let's just get into it. So, at Namek, Demon King Piccolo will actually be a demon, alone with Piccolo Daimao Jr. So, instead of just them thinking they're demons and being actual Namekians, everyone will be demons. So yeah, in this it's uh, in this article, I'm um, not know if this is the actual power level, but it says that Debura has a power level of four billion, which is about Cell's power level. So I'm just gonna use that in power level of eight thousand two hundred for the basic um, Namekians, not fighter Namekians. So a bit more than Goku and the Saiyan song. And then Nail will have a power level of twenty four thousand, which will be. I believe the same as um, Zarbon, but it might be a thousand more. I think it is a thousand more than Zarbon. So, other than that, let's just get into the actual story part, down with power levels. The Frieza Force would arrive on Namek, trying to kill the Namekians, but the Ma Namekians would be able to easily deal with most of the Frieza Forces, killing them, and if they do get hurt, it's only a heart or two, usually. So we start with Raspberry trying to attack Murray. And these, keep in mind, they are also evil. So he, they would just not care. And they would just easily kill the Frieza forces without thinking. Nail would then find Krillin as they would fight with Nail easily winning and pretty much killing Krillin. As Krillin would be hurt very, very badly. He would try to throw a ball of power at Nail, but Nail just hit it, making it go flying away and cr into Krillin. Kind of like how Jiren sent Goku's blast back at him, but no, no Ultra Instinct in the timeline. But Nail would easily have won. D now, Dodorio, everything with him. Now then, Dodorio would then find Nail, as they would start fighting, with it being almost equal Except Nail has a bit more strength, and would hit a heat when Dodorio tries to f punch him. He jumps and throws him. He then hits one more deadly punch with full power against Dodorio, destroying him and killing him in the process. But Nail does lose two of his hearts in this. Everything with Vegeta would go the same, and as Mur Krillin would then find Murray and Dende. Gohan was hiding in the last fight, but in this one. They would not be nice and they wouldn't give Dragon Balls. They would just be mean as Krillin would be killed. And Gohan, seeing Krillin, he bursts. And he's like, why? He, he didn't deserve to die. He shouldn't have died. <sighs> and then Gohan would go into Super Saiyan for the first time, being the first one in the series. He would then be angered at them. And think about this. He went Super Saiyan 2 because of Android 16, so I believe Krillin Dine would give him Super Saiyan. He would then attack, as his power level would be about 100,000. He would easily kill the two Namekians, as Frieza. He would sense these two high power levels, as he would first go to Nail, as he was the closest to Frieza. And then, after that, he would head to Gohan. He would just be destroying Nail, but it would obviously be harder, harder than the original. But he would still destroy him with death beams in all five of the leftover hearts. But Gohan, he would then find. And Gohan, he, well, he would just kill Gohan. As Gohan wasn't even in Super Saiyan anymore. As Goku heals up, his fight with the Guinea Force goes the same and everything. But he would find Gohan and Krillin's bodies on the floor. He would explode in anger as well. Just like Gohan did. Only a few minutes. Only about a half an hour earlier, his hair starts going yellow and back to black. Yellow and back to black with a golden era aura then surrounding him. And his hair turning fully yellow with green eyes. Goku had gone Super Saiyan and he immediately, after seeing his best friend and his son dead, would just fire Kyame Hameha at Frieza, obliterating him from existence because this Goku still has a power level of three million we start at namek where just like in canon it's about to explode goku is looking for a way off as he jumps down 
near the lava, he sees the Guinea Force ship. He gets into it, and he flies off the planet, not knowing where he was going. He would then land on Yardra, and he would train with them, learning instant transmission, and just getting stronger, like in canon. He would still, they would still find out that he is not dead when they try to wish for the Dragon Balls. Now then, like in the last part, you found out Gohan was dead. He would be at King Kai's planet as he ran Snake away, which would be way easier since he has a power level that is very high. Gohan would then train with King Kai, learning Kaioken, and with his current strength, he would get really powerful with Kaioken. He's going to get about Kaioken times 10, and the max he can get is Kaioken times 15, but that's a stretch. He would then say goodbye to King Kai as they were about to like, oh, sir, wish to revive him. As the last time they wished, he said he wanted to stay a lot dead to train. His, he would have a power level of 80,000 with 800,000 in Kaioken times 10. Now time for the wish. A year has passed and they get ready to revive Gohan. They would make this wish and he would come back as the rest of the arc would go pretty much the same. So the androids would be, oh, um, what what's it called? Oh, not opened. It doesn't, they would be turned on pretty much. The hyperbolic time chamber, when that happens, this is when the whole arc changes. Goku would train with Gohan, who would be training in Kaioken until he learned Super Saiyan. He would be trying his hardest. He would be firing Masenkos and Kamehamehas and just trying to learn it as much as he could. He would eventually learn it as he would train with Goku for a few more months. As instead of going for the higher grades of Super Saiyan, they would just practice Kaioken and Super Saiyan. Which you may think is crazy, but with Gohan knowing it, I think they might go that route. And as much as it hurts their body, throughout the months that it takes them, they would have about 2-3 to three months. Maybe four, I'm not sure how long it took Gohan to learn Super Saiyan. But they would be training. As the Cell games would start, with Goku bursting into Ka Super Kaioken. As he would rush at Cell, just one punch, which would send Cell almost out of the ring. He would then jump up and just elbow Cell. But he would, would say, he, I'm done, Cell. How about you face Gohan? As he throws a Senzu bean to Cell, who then eats it. As he gets ready to face Gohan. Gohan, though, wouldn't be like his dad. He would rush at Super Cell. And, and Kaioken, and Super Kaioken times three, just uppercut and then slam him to the ground. As they both charge up Kamehameha's, they would get ready as they would both fire it. It's a beam clash for a few seconds, but Gohan bursts in Kaioken times five. Alright, so that was part one and two, but in this timeline, I'm going to go over more since to make the video a little longer. So, Gohan would train a bit more, Goten would get Kaioken, and Gohan would even be able to use Super Saiyan Kaioken up to three times. Goku would get Super Saiyan 2 in this time skip, and he wouldn't really be able to use Kaioken on top of it at the start once he unlocks it, but eventually by the Buu Saga, he's able to use Kaioken times two. It does really hurt. But when he faces Kid Buu, he uses times four and is able to defeat him and without you having to use the Spirit Bomb. So now nothing really changes until the Tournament of Power. Gohan would be able to stay in to, with Ultimate Kaioken, Ken. And then he would face Topo. Topo would be a good match if he was in his God of Destruction form. But without it, Kaioken Ken Ultimate is able to defeat him. Gohan would then help everyone against Jiren, which obviously would help a lot since he wouldn't be eliminated and he would be able to help. But I don't think he'll do much. So yeah, I think Gohan would have been defeated by that. But I hope you guys did enjoy. This is a very, very short video. It's legit sh uh, full two parts. This shows you how short my old videos were. Not even old, like from last month to the month before. But I'll see you guys next time. It's been Shade Talks Anime. And I'm out.